Oh, uh, Lewis Award. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I too would like to start by acknowledging uh, the Minister and the Select Committee. Uh, the um, subject matter uh, is probably uh, an area or a topic that none of us would like to discuss. And so the fact that we are today debating the merits of the Child Protection Child Sex Offender Register Bill, or if my uh, colleague Jacinda Ardern's SOP has supported the Child Protection Child Sex Offender Government Agency Registration Bill, uh, is, um, I was going to say, incredibly sad, uh, because um, in preparing for my contribution today, I looked for some statistics. And I found a, a piece of research that's on the Department of Corrections website, actually, and it's called Reconviction Rates of Sex Offenders, Five-Year Follow-Up Study. And it looked at uh, sex offenders from the 1st of January 2001 to the 31st of December 2003. And there were 1,100 male sex offenders, and of those, 63%, or 689, were child sex offenders. Um, which is pretty harrowing, actually. And then when I looked at uh, some of the um, descriptions, I'll call them, uh, on average they're 41 years old, 56% uh, um, were 40 plus when, when released, 35% Māori, 51% European, 13% Pacific. But the interesting part for me because this whole uh, corrections research project was about recidivism. And so what they found of the 689 child sex offenders, 66% were first timers. So that's 455. And of those, 19% uh, re were reconvicted within a 60 month period uh, post their release. So um, I guess some people would see that as a good thing. But actually, I looked a bit deeper into the, uh, the actual numbers. It actually means that uh, of the 455 first-time offenders, 369 are out there somewhere. And we don't know where they are. No one's monitoring them. And I actually can see the intent behind this piece uh, of uh, legislation when I look at figures like that. Because actually, a safeguard for us is when they stay in the system which is incredibly perverse. But what's incredibly interesting too was of the, uh, the recidivist offenders, so we, there were 234, 54% um, were uh, reconvicted within that 60 month period. 126 uh, people, but only 13 or 4% were reconvicted for sex offending on children. So I actually can see the intent behind this piece of legislation, so I'm getting up to support uh, the Minister. Um, I think that uh, in light of uh, some of the recent community, uh, however, um, commentary on where some of these sex offenders are currently being placed, what I'm hoping is that we're not only going to have a register, but we're actually going to think through uh, where people should be rehabilitated in the community. And I want to particularly pick up on a comment uh, by the Minister who said that uh, these offenders have to manage their urges. And so I guess my challenge back to the Minister, the Ministry, all those involved in uh, monitoring these, these child sex offenders is actually managing them uh, within a kilometre of a school where they can see children, where children actually in Mangere's case saw them and from what we've heard, there were issues of masturbation uh, because these offenders or this particular offender was getting off on seeing the kids. Is that appropriate? And there was an interesting ad uh, in Germany, actually, in 2005. And it was, and I'll quote, you are not guilty because of your sexual desire, but you are responsible for your sexual behaviour. And so I think the reality for some child sex offenders who are paedophiles actually managing their urges, as the Minister said, actually is also a responsibility of the government. Because if we're going to put people back into the community and rehabilitate them, then we have to make sure that they're going to be in the best environment so that those urges actually don't pose a risk, not only for our kids, 
but for them. Uh, before I call Derek Ball, I, I am going to remind members, and I, I'm just feeling a wee bit conflicted now uh, because of you know, stated interests in, in this area, but I want to remind members that they should be debating this bill, not a second reading type debate on the causes or um, general statistics, not a discussion about where people should be living, but actually this bill has been accepted by the House at second reading, and all we're talking about is whether the details in this bill now fulfil the wishes of the House as expressed at second reading. Derek Ball. Thank you, sir. Um, 